happy Monday. The kids are finally back to school for a full week this week. I think it's their first full week in like three weeks since school has started back up. Here's what the kids are having for breakfast this morning. My oldest son has a couple of mini bagels and a little bit of fruit. My daughter has some cinnamon toast and then my four-year-old son also has some cinnamon toast. And that is their breakfast. I planned on making French toast this morning and I didn't realize we were out of eggs. Last week I went to go make French toast and we were out of bread. Now this week I went to go make French toast, we're out of eggs. So I haven't been able to find eggs at a reasonable price right now. So I kind of forgot that I didn't grab them during my grocery trip, but that's okay. I'll probably grab them later on in the week if I see any on sale or anything like that. But for now, we're just keeping it easy with some toast and bagels. And I will be right back to show you guys the kids lunch. you guys here we are with the kids lunches for today so we are doing a valentine's day themed lunch again today i did these little exo valentine's pretzels from mommy to the kids and then they each have a napkin they also both have some strawberry kiwi juice in their juice bottles and let's go ahead and take a look inside of their lunch boxes they are look looking super cute and festive today and here we go. Nova has a peanut butter and banana sandwich. I feel like this is a Monday staple for us right now. 
and underneath his sandwich he has some veggie chips which are shaped like little hearts these are so cute if you guys know the veggie straws these are the same exact kind but they're just little heart shaped ones and then we have some heart shaped strawberries some apples which i have to dice up for him i have a few people ask me every once in a while why my oldest son gets his apples diced he broke his front two teeth um about six months ago so he does have to have apples and carrots cut up for him and then he chose a tootsie roll for his treat today here is Anaya's lunchbox. She has a similar lunch, just a little bit different. So she has peanut butter and jelly, no banana in the middle. A couple of strawberry hearts. Her apple is cut kind of in half and then in big chunks. She's been eating her apples in bigger chunks lately. So I'm gonna try this out in her lunchbox and see if it works. She has some cheese, some cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. She chose a little heart-shaped chocolate for her candy. And then she also has some of these heart-shaped veggie chips. And that is the kids' lunches today. <coughs> Bless you, bless you. I'm probably gonna throw some grapes into Nova's lunchbox to go along with his snack because I know pretzels aren't gonna be enough for him. And that is it, we will see you guys back in just a little bit to show you how they did. All right, you guys, I am back. Here is Anaya's lunch for today. I actually don't have Nova's lunchbox because he lost his lunchbox and his lunch bag at school today. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it got up and walked out of his classroom apparently, so. This is all I have to show you guys of how the kids did today. It's Anaya's lunchbox. She ate all of her snack today and she drank all of her strawberry kiwi juice that she had. It also looked like she did really well at lunch today. She ate her peanut butter and jellies, her cheese, her chocolate, none of her apple, but about half of her veggie chips, I would say. And then she told me that her best friend ate her strawberries. So that was her lunch today and we will see you guys back tomorrow for breakfast and lunch. share with you what I'm gonna do with the kids breakfast this morning you saw me make these last night now I'm just gonna go ahead and warm them up and then we're gonna spread a little peanut butter add a little fun sprinkle and that is gonna be the kids breakfast and then we will jump right into lunches <laughs>
is the kids breakfast we just did those little breakfast bars with some fruit for them this is my nine-year-old's plate my four-year-old's plate my six-year-old's probably gonna only eat one of these but even if she eats one of those it's really good that'll be really good for her so that is their breakfast and let me go ahead and show you guys their lunch here is what the kids have for lunch today so i know you guys already know but my nine-year-old left his lunch box and lunch bag at school yesterday so this time i'm going to be packing his lunch until we are able to get him a lunch bag that fits his bento boxes um he looked for his lunch bag and lunch box all day yesterday and could not find it so i'm hoping it's not lost i'm hoping it turns up today but we will see for now this is what we are doing for lunch today so we have quite a few little snacks in here just because it's easier to pack like loose snacks and things that are individually wrapped whenever we're packing this type of lunch bag because it doesn't hold a whole lot so i did some strawberries down here he has a lara bar we have rice crispy treats i did some grapes and then in here he has some doritos and down here he has a turkey sandwich so can choose whatever he wants at snack today so this is actually his lunch and his snack for class today and then here is an eyes lunch she has chocolate chip cookies for her snack and here's her lunch box in her thermos we did these new little tyson chicken nuggets they are shaped like hearts in there super cute in her little dip container she has her trusty honey mustard for her chicken nuggets I did cheese in the back. She has some peanut butter crackers and an apple, which I just skinned and sliced up for her. And that is it for the kids at lunches today. We will see you guys back in a little bit to show you how they did. All right, you guys, I am back with Tuesday's lunches. Let's go ahead and see how the kids did today. So here is Anaya's lunchbox right off the bat. I noticed that she has an extra cup of honey mustard. I'm not quite sure where that came from, but it looks like she ate half of her apple that I packed her, half of the peanut butter crackers and all of the cheese that was in here. Let's go ahead and see how she did in her thermos here. And she ate all of those chicken nuggets that I packed for her. So she did really well at lunch today. And here is Nova's lunchbox. It was completely empty when I started digging through it. So he drank his juice. He ate his Doritos, his sandwich, his grapes, and his strawberries. And that was their lunches today. We'll see you guys back tomorrow for breakfast and lunch. Good morning, you guys. Please excuse my mess. Last night was the kids' first night at martial arts, and it was a little tough taking them to a class after school and getting home to do all the normal chores. So my stove is still a mess, but have no fear. I'm going to clean it up once I get the kids off to school and back home from dropping them off. So. My stove is a mess, girl. Look at that messy stove. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button if she should clean her stove for 24 hours. <laughs> so I just wanted to share real quick what I am doing for the boys' breakfast. They're going to be having some banana. <laughs> they're going to be having some banana and raspberry oatmeal. So that is just what I'm making right now. And then in just a moment, I will show you guys what Anaya is taking for lunch. Nova's going to get lunch at school. We did find his lunchbox. However, I just don't even have anything clean to pack lunches this morning. So I'm just going to have him get lunch at school. And I packed him a snack. And then Anaya had Cinnamon Toast Crunch for breakfast quite a bit ago. She had it as soon as she woke up. So I have a little clip of that. That is all for the kids' breakfast, and we will see you guys back in just a moment to share with you lunch. Oh, God bless you. Good morning. Mm, that smells so good. It has some milk, um, let's think. It has milk, the oatmeal, I did frozen bananas, frozen raspberries, some syrup, cinnamon, and sugar, and wow, it smells amazing. Hi, guys. Look at this. Hey, here's what the kids are having for lunch. Well, Anaya, she's the only one that's gonna be taking a whole lunch today. 
She has some strawberry kiwi juice in her juice bottle. And here is her lunchbox. If you guys hear my youngest back there crying, I'm really sorry. He's only crying over Blippi, so don't worry. She has a full banana in her lunchbox as well as a peanut butter and jelly. For the banana, I just added a little bit of lime juice to the tip of it. I'm hoping that the banana doesn't brown much more than that. So we will see what happens there. I gave her plenty of Oreos because she's always sharing at lunch with her friends, especially her cookies. And then sometimes she comes home and says that she didn't get to have any of her cookies. So I made sure to give her plenty and I told her to make sure she keeps a couple for herself and then she can give whoever wants one, one. And she also has a little bit of mozzarella cheese there. So that is her lunch today. And for her snack, I did some pretzels in her lunch bag. And then my oldest is just taking a snack. So he has a cinnamon Lara bar. Yes. And I did a little cutie orange in here. These will just go in his backpack. I don't need a lunchbox for this. So yes, are you okay? And that is all for the kids' Thank lunches. You. And we'll see you guys back in just a little bit to share with you how they did. Hey y'all, it is Thursday evening. Nope, it is Wednesday evening and I am back with Anaya's lunchbox. So let's go ahead and see how she did at school today. Um, right off the bat, I see that she has all these snacks that I did not send her with. I'm not sure where they came from, but I'm gonna just go ahead and throw them in my pantry. I think my boys will eat these. This is definitely not something Anaya would eat, so I'm not sure where she got it from, but she did not eat her pretzels that I sent for snack time. And let's see how she did in her lunchbox. Wow. She actually did really well. It looks like she ate everything except the crust on her sandwich and the cheese that I sent with her and a little piece of the banana. It looks like it was kind of nasty, so she took that off. But other than that, she did really good today. And that is it for Wednesday. We will see you guys back tomorrow for Thursday's breakfast and lunch. Hey there, happy Thursday. Here is what the kids are taking for lunch today. I did get a little clip of breakfast, but my camera actually died when I was trying to record breakfast. But the kids are just having cereal again, real simple. They actually started martial arts this week and it has been a really hard week on me. I haven't been getting as much done at nighttime as I have been. So I've been having to wake up a lot earlier to get things done in the morning. And last night I wanted to stay up and get lunches and things like that prepared. And I didn't get to bed until after 1 a.m. And I am totally exhausted this morning and I woke up late. So we are running late. So I'm just gonna share with you guys the kids lunches and then I have to pack these up and get us out the door. But basically, we're keeping it really simple. My son is going to do lunch at school again. And then I just packed him a snack box. He has a cereal bar, oranges, and apples. And then here is Anaya's lunch. It's a little bit different than her normal lunches. But I think she's going to like this one. We have some apple fries, a, a couple pieces of cheese that I cut up. She has some Hershey Kisses in the middle. Two peanut butter crackers. I did graham crackers in the back for a little sweet treat with her chocolate. And then she has turkey here, and I put some little fun food picks in there to make it a little fun for her. And that is all. <gasps> Good morning. You slept in today. Hi, baby. You want to have some cereal or you want to wait a minute? Ready for it? Okay. And that is all for the kids' lunches today. We'll see you guys back in a little bit to show you how they did. Hey guys, I am back. It is Thursday evening, and here is how Anaya did at lunch today. As you guys remember, she was the only one that took a lunch box. So let's go ahead and see how she did. Wow, she did really well today. It looks like she ate all of the turkey, cheese, crackers, chocolate, and almost all of her apples. She was super hungry girl today. And I'm really proud of her. This is probably like one of her best lunch boxes yet. So super good job, girlfriend. And we will see you guys back tomorrow for Friday's breakfast and lunch. You want to tell them what you're having for breakfast? Yeah. So me and Kaden, um, are having breakfast for breakfast. 
frosted flakes for breakfast, and Nova's gonna have a bagel with cream cheese. Yes. Alright you guys, I got Friday's lunch ready to go, so let's go ahead and see what they are having. Nova's gonna have lunch at school today. They do pizza Fridays and he loves getting pizza on Friday. And then I just packed him some blue Doritos in his tiny twinkle bag. This is for his snack in class. And then of course he'll have his water bottle, but that's already in his backpack. Anaya has some apple juice for lunch. God bless you. And here is her lunchbox today. We have part of a banana. And then I gave her two of these mini Rice Krispie treats. She actually doesn't eat these too often, but we'll see. I did some little mini Cheetos down in here. And then in her thermos, we did heart-shaped chicken nuggets again. This is a good one for her. I know she's definitely gonna eat this whole lunch. And in here, she just has her, her trusty honey mustard. And that is the kids' lunches for today. We will see you guys back uh, later tonight because the kids have another martial arts meet after school today. So we will see you guys back later tonight to show you guys how the kids eat today. Hey guys, we made it through the full week. I am back. It is super late on Friday evening, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what Anaya ate at lunch today. So right off the bat, her juice box is empty. And here is how she did at lunch today. So. I actually should have opened this a long time ago. I forgot she had a banana in here. Ew. But I'm going to peel this and just see if we can save it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm going to throw this in the freezer with our other frozen bananas. And then I use these for like oatmeal, smoothies, anything like that. So I'm just going to put that up there for now. It looks like she ate her Rice Krispie treats today. And I don't think she ate any of these Cheetos. I can't really tell, but she did finish all of her chicken nuggets in there and her honey mustard is gone. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of lunches. I know it was kind of a hectic week and we were super busy all week. So the lunches were super easy and nothing too crazy this week. Next week, I'm hoping to be able to do a full week of Valentine's lunches, just to give some ideas for the people that are looking for lunch ideas for Valentine's Day. But thank you guys very much for making it this far. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we will see you guys back next week for another What's For Lunch.